I guess then, you know, one of the consequences of being in many ways um, sui generis, your own person in multiple ways, we've talked about this continuously, there is the fact that you uh, don't, you, you have Keynes and you have Hayek as your background, you, you asked your students to read Friedman, you um, meanwhile had an animus against new classical production function as a whole that makes it, you somewhat, I mean certainly a unique person, but the, the flip side of that is that uh, in some sense we, um, I don't think you have a group of layers of audience, if you, if you will. Right, 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 yeah. So, um, the, I guess the question that we have is, do you have any thoughts about whether there was a method that you would have liked to have seen uh, applied in broadly the way that you, you think of and do economics, or is this necessary for the continuation of, uh, you know, alternative thinking? Would you have liked to have had a school? Yes. No. No, no uh, 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 definitely not. So I, I, I had uh, some students that were uh, uh, congenially closer to me than others, of course. Daniel Heyman, an obvious example. Um, but he's, he's his own. Now, um, I didn't like the idea of schools, basically. Uh, um, and some of my opposition, to, uh, you know, psychologically, some of my opposition to monetarism, let's say, or, or to the, the, the Keynesians uh, that I was opposed to. Um, probably had to do with uh, this sort of attempt to create a homogenous group of people. There is some tribalism within, within uh, economics and in fact sometimes tribes went out and to, to the complete decimation of other tribes and so on. Um, so is there, is there a value to having a heterodoxy which is self-consciously different and talks within itself to, uh, you know, uh, to keep these kind of tensions, creative tensions, alive? Yes and no. Um, uh, heterodox groups usually become sort of encapsulated. Um, uh, no one reads them and they read other stuff just to, in order to dismiss it or something. Um, when I joined UCLA, it, it was an uh, out-of-the-way place in a sense. Uh, uh, people like Alshan and Hirschleifers, well, they had friends at Chicago, but uh, when uh, sometimes were called Chicago West, that 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 was a misnomer. They, they were uh, really independent uh, people and, um, um, and I like that. Um. Yeah. I suppose the challenge is if you're unhappy with the direction of the profession and the state of the, and perhaps yeah. the sort of monoculture that exists in a lot of particularly macroeconomics, is it possible challenge that effectively from the standpoint of just being sort of an individual dissenter or is it necessary in some level to have a a, uh, counter, a counter movement yes i i don't sure i know how one could uh, sort of derail the current train <laughs> Uh, uh, maybe you have to wait for the next uh, uh, financial catastrophe or something um, for the for the real world to impinge on 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 this kind of modeling. Uh, I don't think that you can write a paper that gets into the AER that upsets the upper court. Uh, 
question. Mm -hmm. so is it a question that um, the methodology um, does not allow you to see, or is it a question of uh, people not being creative enough with the methodology? Well, the insistence that things have to be said within a particular framework, I think, is is misguided. It's, uh, I think schools have always have some mechanism of enforcement, and and uh, maybe this is one. Right? Um, It helps <laughs> to have. It helps to make people concentrate and keep within this and forge straight ahead and so on. Uh, but it it, um, it tends to shut out original ideas and insights. So there's a there's a trade-off. Uh, yeah. And uh, and. I mean, you can't just depend upon kooks <laughs> to, to, to renew the subject.